If you want to know the best sport movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 1980s. I don't have that many games left in me. God, you used us! You used me! Yes, I did. But you're in Atlantic City now with the big boys. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Bull Durham, 1988. Why is he calling for a curveball? I want to bring heat. Shake it off. Throw it you over. Bull Durham is a 1988 romantic comedy sports film written and directed by Ron Shelton and stars Kevin Costner, Susan Sarandon, and Tim Robbins. This charming flick of heartwarming love will be stuck in your mind because it is not only hilarious, but written with a smart knowledge about the nature of relationships. Crash Davis gets stuck in a helplessly mediocre baseball team where he and his mates fall for Annie, the team's mascot. Clash is on the horizon when they aren't sure anymore who really got Annie's affection. To announce your fucking presence with authority, this guy's a first ball fastball hitter. He's looking for heat. Oh yeah? So what? He ain't seen my heat. All right, me. Give me your heat. Number 9. Chariots of Fire, 1981. So where does the power come from to see the race to its end from within? Chariots of Fire is a 1981 British historical drama sports film directed by Hugh Hudson and stars Ben Cross, Ian Charlson, Nigel Havers, and Cheryl Campbell. Based on true events, the story revolves around the story of two seemingly very different athletes competing in the 1924 Olympics, drawn together by their drive to win. One is a devout Christian seeking to prove his devotion to God by winning. The other is a determined Jew, fighting to prove that his religious beliefs do not make him inferior to others. I believe God made me for a purpose. But he also made me fast. And when I run, I feel his pleasure. Number 8. The Karate Kid, 1984. You mean there were times when you were scared to fight? <sighs> uh, always scared. Yeah, hate the, fighting. the Karate Kid is a 1984 martial arts drama film directed by John G. Alvidson and stars Ralph Macchio, Pat Morita, and Elizabeth Shue. Launching several sequels and creating an icon around its protagonists comes the story of teenager Daniel, who moves to LA and instantly becomes bullied by karate-trained high schoolers. Rescued by Japanese martial arts master Miyagi, he is shown how to use karate for good sending him on a journey of youth, discovery, and spirituality. Karate's fighting, you train to fight. <sighs> that what <hurt> you think. <sighs> no. Then why train? So I won't have to fight. <sighs> Number seven. Major League, 1989. Second base! Major League is a 1989 sports comedy film written and directed by David S. Ward and stars Tom Berenger, Charlie Sheen, Wesley Snipes, and Rene Russo. As one of the classic sports movies that didn't earn their titles through reinventing the genre but just doing it better, Major League is hilarious, charming, silly in the best way possible, and filled with sports sequences that will have you at the edge of your seat. When a trainer builds the most horrible team imaginable, they start to win just to spite her. Mobility's good, no problem getting off the throat a second. No problem. I need a catcher, Jake. Somebody who can lead this team on the field. So I want the absolute truth here. Are you 100%? Yeah, when I bullshit you about something like that? You better. You want to make this team. Number six. Caddyshack, 1980. You're not being the ball, Annie. Well, it's kind of difficult with you talking like okay. that. Okay. Not talking. Stop talking. Not talking now. Caddyshack is a 1980 sports comedy film directed by Harold Ramis and stars Chevy Chase, Rodney Dangerfield, Ted Knight, Michael O'Keefe, and Bill Murray. Though juvenile, or exactly because of that, this typical 80s sports flick convinces with classic slapstick, instantly iconic dialogue, and characters that are honestly unforgettable. The premise is a conservative golf club threatened to close forever by one of its guests, and a hilarious fight for the beloved club begins. Stop thinking. 
let things happen and be the ball. Danny? Danny? Sir? Sir? Where's the uh, wedge? Right here, sir. Thank you, Danny. Number five. The Natural, 1984. Try this one, Grandpa. The Natural is a 1984 sports film directed by Barry Levinson and stars Robert Redford, Glenn Close, and Robert Duvall. This irresistible classic is heartbreaking and heartwarming in equal measure. It explores the human will to fulfill our dreams, no matter how much time and what obstacles stand in our way. As a young boy, Roy had the chance to find luck in the easiest way, but as time passed, he found himself an old man, now getting one last chance. How about this? It's lightning bolt. The tree that I made it from was split open by lightning. I don't figure this. All those years and you never played organized baseball, well, I sort of got sidetracked. Number four. The Big Blue, 1988. How are you? <coughs> Enzo? I leave you swimming and 20 years later you're still in the water. The Big Blue is a 1988 drama film directed by Luc Besson and stars Rosanna Arquette, Jean-Marc Barr, and Jean Reno. Formed by impactful cinematography comes a story about passion, obsession, and the power of love. Two lifetime friends always shared a personal competition in their passionate hobby, sea diving. Being at home in the water, Jacques is torn apart when he madly falls in love with a beautiful woman. Now he must decide between the heart of the ocean or the woman he loves. How long can you hold your breath? Longer than you. Uh, we'll see. Number 3. Hoosiers, 1986. Hell, our first game's less than two weeks away. Well, first of all, let's be real friendly here, okay? My name is Norm. Secondly, your coaching days are over. Hoosiers is a 1986 sports film directed by David Ann Spa and stars Gene Hackman, Barbara Hershey, and Dennis Hopper. While not redefining the sports genre, this heartfelt basketball story is so hard to resist because it is crafted with deep passion. Often called the best sports movie of all time, we follow a team's long attempt to win the championship. Along the way, the edge of your seat suspense and directing will leave you in excitement. Any of you feel you don't want to be on a team, feel free to leave right now. Did you hear what I said? <clears throat> Me? Yes, you. Sure, I'm just curious to know when we start. We start when I say so. Okay, would you kind of let me know because I'm kind of getting all tired right, of standing? Out, out of here, right now. You're kicking me out? Yes, don't come back until you learn to keep your mouth shut and listen. Number two, Field of Dreams, 1989. You came to play ball, didn't you? Yes, sir. All right, we'll go warm up. Yes, sir. Rookies. Field of Dreams is a 1989 sports fantasy drama film written and directed by Phil Alden Robinson and stars Kevin Costner, Amy Madigan, James Earl Jones, Ray Liotta, and Burt Lancaster. As a mixture of good old fairy tales, sports movies, and family love comes the heartwarming story of Farmer Ray, who is told by a higher force to build a baseball field in the middle of his corn. He seeks out a reclusive author to help him understand the meaning of the messages and the purpose for his field. This field, this game, is a part of our past, Ray. It reminds us of all that once was good and it could be again. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, you crackers stick together, huh? Asking for a triple, Joe. Do you hear me? 60 years since the Civil War, Lefty. Ease up. Besides, you guys lost. With all the paper. That wouldn't help Jackson none. <laughs> Just leave him be. I must break you. Oh, Ima! Wait. Ivan Turagawa. Remember what I said back there about wanting to be you? Yeah. Forget it. So let's just play, play. What? Just play for play, man. No money. Play, play? Show me what you got here. Vincent. Hey, Julian, I just want your best game. I think maybe the money is what's throwing you off here today. Number one. 
Raging Bull, 1980. You want me to hit you? I want you to be with everything you got. I want you to fucking lay me out. Go ahead. You sure? Yeah. All right. Hot. Raging Bull follows the story of Jake LaMotta, a professional midweight boxer whose violence and self-destructive rage that enable him to crush his opponent in championships have become a burden on his personal relationships as he treats his loved ones with the same hostility he treats his opponents. Often considered the greatest film of the decade, Raging Bull was a critical success under the direction of Martin Scorsese. The biographical drama film stars Robert De Niro in the lead role and was released in 1980. Take it off. Ah, oh, come on. You want to stop now? Take That's enough. Yeah. That come on. Uh, come Fuck on. Fuck around, man. Yeah. Come on. Hey, girl, yeah. huh? I'm going to smack you again. Throw it again. It's enough. Yeah. It's enough. Yeah. Hard, hard. Nah, your fucking cuts are opening everything. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.